guys, it's Zach from Spectrum Pest Control, and I'm here with our Ask Mr. Exterminator series. Um, today I'm going to go over uh, ants in the kitchen. You know, I'm going to touch base uh, with you with a few things about, you know, what it is you're seeing, why you're seeing it, and maybe some at-home remedies that you can do yourself, um, you know, see if we can take care of that problem for you. Um, first things first, I want to get something into everybody's head. Ants are inevitable. Um, you know, it, just because you haven't seen them for the past 15 years and, you know, suddenly they're there, it doesn't mean they were never there. Uh, you know, they are going to work their way into your house eventually. Um, they're very good at finding things that, that, that will suit them and their habits and uh, continuing to use that, you know, your, you, you, we'll say your home for an example, uh, they will continue to use your home uh, to nest and to, um, you know, start foraging and all that business. Uh, they have a weather triggered mating pattern, uh, which basically means they know when it starts warming up that it's time to start mating. You'll notice in March and April, um, that's when you see the most activity. That's because they're getting ready to mate. Um, you'll see swarmers that are out looking for new homes as well. Um, so if you find yourself with a bunch of ants with wings, uh, you know that your house is a uh, prime target for them. They're, they're coming in, they're looking for a new home, and they're, they're liking what they're seeing there. Um, what happens is uh, they're attracted to quite a few things. Uh, Freestanding water. Um, what might seem like a small amount of water to you would th quench the thirst of a very large colony, like a cup of water. I know it sounds silly, you know, leaving a cup of water out. Um, but they are attracted to that. They're also attracted to, you know, if you have a small amount of water leaking from your tub, we'll say, or even some water that are, that's still in your kitchen sink after you wash your dishes. Um, they are attracted to that. They will come after that. They know that that's where there's some water that they can, you know, they can start drinking. Um, another thing is sugary and starchy foods, which I know you're thinking, yeah, obviously. Well, what's not so obvious is the, the amount of food that they're actually after. Um, it's, they don't need a lot, you know, uh, they're small. And, uh, you know, crumbs underneath your toaster um, or some grease in your microwave, uh, stuff like that. That's all, you know, what doesn't seem like a lot to you, that, that's a lot to a small little ant and it will feed a bunch of them. Um, so it's, it's a good idea, you know, when you're, well, let's say you're doing your dishes, making sure that, you know, all of the food is actually out of the sink. Get rid of all of that, um, along with the freestanding water that's in there that we just talked about. Um, some things you can do at home to take care of this problem is, uh, a common one is vinegar. You know, um, take the vinegar, spray the vinegar where, where you're seeing the most activity. And uh, what that's going to do is going to disrupt the pheromone trails that the ants are leaving there. Um, you know, if you disrupt their trails, they get kind of confused. They don't know, you know, where they have to go because that's how they operate. They leave behind pheromone trails for the other ants um, to follow. And if you're disrupting where it is they think they have to go, they get kind of confused. They have to go find another place to go. Um, the downfall to the vinegar is you have to do that multiple times a day. Uh, every day of the week so it's uh, you know it's kind of a it's not a very efficient way to take care of ants but if you're looking for something natural that's an option to you. Uh, liquid dish soap with warm water you know not nice hot soapy water um, getting that around your baseboards around your windows um, around the areas that you you know you typically have food um, those are all good things to do, you know, wipe them down really, really good. That will also do exactly what the, uh, what the vinegar was going to do for you. It's going to disrupt all their trails for you. Once again, it's not very efficient because uh, they are kind of a creature of habit. Uh, so they know that if there's a consistent food source somewhere, they're going to keep coming back to that. Which leads me to my, 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 next, um, my next tip for you is to regularly, regularly rotate your, your garbage and your recycling. Um, you know, I've been out to places many, many times. They have a spick and span uh, kitchen, but they have a garbage, that hasn't, a garbage bag that hasn't been uh, taken out to the garbage can in probably five, six days. And it's, you know, you can tell that they're just pushing the stuff down in there. Well, 
you know, the ants, uh, that garbage can, that is filled, that, that will feed a colony of ants for years. Um, and if they know that, they're going to continue to come to it. And what will end up happening is what might start off as one or two ants is going to turn into three or four, which will turn into ten or twenty, which is going to turn to hundreds and thousands before you know it. And, um, you know, keeping, keeping up on all that is definitely uh, going to help you. Now, the final tip I have for you today is, uh, you know, your plants, uh, indoor and outdoor plants. Mainly I'm talking about indoor plants today, though. They, um, what happens is um, they have a tiny little species called aphids, and these aphids, they produce a sweet secretion. Um, it's, it's known as a honeydew, and ants love it. And um, what will end up happening is, uh, you know, if you're not regularly cleaning your, your plants and pruning them, and uh, you know, actively washing them, uh, it's going to. There's going to be all sorts of these secretions all over your indoor plants, which is also going to attract these these ants to your house. Uh, once again, it's a super super uncommon thing that you know people will always overlook, but it's it's a very uh, it's it's definitely going to attract these ants to your house. So, um, if you have any questions, please feel free free to reach out to us um, and you know at the end of the day if it's something that you can't handle on your own please contact a professional that's what we're paid to do here so I appreciate your time thank you very much and have a good day